Are you thinking of selling your home on your own? Well, today I am here to help you and give you some ideas of things that you are going to have to do and watch out for when you are selling your own home. So you have chosen to go for sale by owner, you don't want a realtor involved. There's some things you need to think about. So number one is preparing your home. Make sure that your home is looking its best. Buyers are fussy right now and they want to buy things that are ready to move into. They don't want to buy homes that look like they need a lot of work. So make sure your home is ready to go before you put that for sale by owner sign in the yard. The second thing you want to think about is vetting buyers. You don't just want to let anybody into your home. You want to make sure that the people that are coming into your home are the people that they say they are. So you might want to ask for a license or you might want to ask for some kind of proof of ID to make sure it matches with who is coming into your home. And then you want to make sure that the things inside your home are safe while they are in your home. When it comes to buyers as well, if you are going under contract with a buyer, you are going to need to talk to their lender and make sure that the funds they say they have are actually in the bank and make sure that the lender can um, vet them and make sure the lender can give them the rest of the money that they need to buy the house. So you're going to need to be a sleuth and detective to make sure that they actually have the money to buy the house so you're not wasting your time. Contracts, you're gonna to want to make sure you have legal contracts in place when selling your home by yourself. If you don't have legal contracts in place, it could become a mess. Now, Colorado actually has contracts that we all use as realtors and you can use it too as a for sale by owner, you can print it off and I'll put the link below to where you can find those forms. Make sure you understand what the forms mean before you start signing them as they are legally binding. Remember, you are signing legally binding contracts and anything you put in writing can be used in court. So be sure to know what you are signing, be sure to know what you are negotiating with the buyer. You're going to have to do negotiations. The buyers these days are negotiating on price, they're negotiating on seller helping with funding, they are negotiating on inspection items. So make sure you are ready to negotiate. If you just say no to everything, then you may just have buyer after buyer walk away. Also, when you are negotiating inspection items, think about how you're going to get those inspection items fixed on time. It can be hard to get people out to fix things. So that's another thing you're going to have to think about when going for sale by owner. Price your house right too. If you are just like sticking it on at the price that you think your house is worth and the money that you should get, um, the buyers are smart. They know pricing these days. And if they have a realtor that is helping them, that realtor is going to give them assistance with the pricing. So make sure you are getting really good comps and you are pricing your house right. You're going to have to record deeds, make sure that deeds are transferred. So think about that when it gets to closing. You're also going to just have to make sure that everything is going smoothly. You're going to have to keep track of deadlines. You're going to have to keep track of timing. Make sure you get those things fixed on time. Make sure you can get people in to do that work and make sure it all goes smoothly. That's all going to be your job. Now, if you have a question about selling your home by yourself, contact me. My details are down below and I will see how I can help you. Hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll chat again soon. See ya.